Hey everybody, how y'all doing this morning? Um, this is my time, Well Life Outdoor Survival. So y'all, I was supposed to be in a hay field, we're on hay today, but as y'all can see, it's raining pretty good, can't do no hay. And um, I was on the way back to the house and I was thinking, what could I do for a video today? So, I want to show y'all, you know, I promised y'all that uh, I was going to be doing some uh, some videos on edible plants and stuff like that. So. Uh, what I found, y'all, is uh, these little plants here with these little blue flowers on them. This is actually chicory. All right, and um, I'm going to dig up a couple of these things. I'm going to dig up a couple of these. Y'all can see there's several of them down through here on the side of this little road here. Um, I'm going to dig up a few of them, and then we're going to probably take them in the house since it's so nasty outside. It's going to be hard to get a fire outside. And uh, we're going to roast some of the root, and we'll talk about medicinal uses and stuff like that. But uh, y'all stick with me, and uh, I'll get a couple of these dug up, get inside out of the rain, I'll get back to y'all. Everybody, I got our chicory plants dug up. Y'all, I got drowned out there. I had come in and changed clothes. I got drowned. I mean, just covered up. It was raining hard out there. Um, first thing I want to talk about, y'all, is kind of how to identify this plant, okay? Of course, the bright blue, purplish colored blooms, that's a giveaway. Um, this is kind of a, really, chicory is kind of a straggly looking plant at the top. Most of the leaves are at the bottom. And, uh, I've got a better one here to show you. As you can see, most of the leaves glow kind of in a cluster at the bottom. And actually, um, chicory is a relative of dandelion, marigold, stuff like that. Um, actually, the bottom, as you can see, the way these leaves grow, really resembles a dandelion plant and uh, I've already cut the roots off of these so uh, as y'all can see these are dandelion roots this, I mean dandelion leaves this is a chicory leaf now if y'all look you can see the similarities in that kind of jagged edge long leaf and um, actually the leaf of this chicory plant is edible it's um, pretty much like a spinach um, it's packed with vitamins and minerals uh, everything from let me see zinc magnesium calcium iron folic acid potassium it's got all kinds of vitamins in it y'all B6 vitamin A, vitamin C, E, and uh, vitamin K. And it also, the greens, help to balance blood and plasma in the body. Okay, and uh, all right. So, on to the uh, root. All right, now these roots, I've already washed them, but uh, I'm gonna take my knife and scrape them, wash them again, kind of chop them up. Um, I got out there. I only dug up a couple plants. I'm just doing this for the video just to make this. I've never made chicory coffee. Actually, um, from what I've been researching and learning, um, especially down around New Orleans and um, southern states, they, uh, back when times were hard, I guess depression, stuff like that, they uh, mix this in with their coffee to make it go farther. Um, I think they still serve chicory coffee around New Orleans, Louisiana, down in there. Um, now this stuff, y'all, when uh, the more mature the plant gets, the woodier, tougher this root gets. Alright. I'm just going to shave all the little hairs and the outer skin to make sure we get all the dirt out of it. We don't want our co coffee tasting like dirt. Um, I clean everything to the extreme. Anything I bring in from the wild, whether it's plants, animals, anything I bring into my kitchen, um, you really got to clean this stuff, y'all. And y'all, like we talked about before, I'm not an expert at this. Like I said, this is the first time I've made chicory coffee. Um, I did know what chicory looked like before, but um, make sure before you go get anything from the wild, whether it's edible plant, anything you bring into your home, 
try to eat. Um, don't consume it until you know for sure that it's what you think it is. And there are a lot of plants and stuff that look a lot really similar to other ones. Um, and some stuff is not good for you. So make sure, whatever you do, make sure you, you know what you're doing before you try this, y'all. Alright, anyway, we got the root kind of scraped up there. I'm going to get it washed up again and then uh, we'll chop this stuff up and get it roasted. Okay? Alright, y'all. There's the root after we wash it up, get it scraped off, wash it up, get it cleaned up. So all I'm doing is just taking my knife, chopping this up. I mean, you could use a chopper, processor, or whatever, I'm sure. I just do it this way because I'm just making a very small amount. Like I said, y'all, this stuff is tough, woody. But we're going to get it chopped up. knife I'm using today y'all is a knife that I found um, one of my grandma's old kitchen knives and uh, took and done a little modifying on it buffed it back up it was buried in the dirt rusty terrible um, but this is any old kitchen knife good metal I think this was actually an old hickory knife was the name of it and I took and put a new hand on it wrapped it in leather but I took and flattened this out Anyway, we'll talk about that in another video, y'all. Um, I'm going to get this thing turned on here. And all I'm going to do, like I said, y'all, use an old pan. One that you don't really care about. Uh, this pan, that's all I do is dandelion, chicory, stuff like that in it. Uh, it will stain your pan. But anyway, we're going to turn that on by the medium-high heat. Let it get to roasting, y'all. And uh, here's what we got going on. We got it in there. Once it gets roasted, it's going to turn a dark brown color. We don't want it to get exactly black, but we're going to roast it quite a bit. And uh, we'll go from there, y'all. Wow. Well, it's got a nice smell to it, almost like a nutty English walnut smell and I don't know if y'all can see but this thing is putting off some smoke I've got it cranked up a little bit higher I turned it down just a little bit but uh anyway like I said y'all we don't want to get this just black we don't want to turn it to ash you can overdo this I guess but uh we're gonna let it get dark brown almost black till all the white's gone out of it and then we'll be ready to go from there y'all Look at all that smoke. It's just coming off of there. Anyway, our chicory's roasting. Well, y'all, I got the chicory ro roasted up here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Pretty dark looking. Um, some of the bigger pieces still got a little white to them. They, they was a little woody. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I just got, I didn't have a coffee filter. My coffee machine don't use coffee filters. But anyway, um, coffee filter, piece of cloth. I'm just going to use a paper towel. Now don't y'all laugh because it's pink and white polka dotted. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that's going to be our filter. What I'm going to do, y'all, I'm just going to dump this off in here. Try to get it all in the center of this napkin. I've already got some water going, getting hot. Okay. There's our chicory on our napkin. What I'm going to do, fold that up a little bit. Y'all, you can grind this if you want to. Um, I'm just doing it this way because you know, if I was out in the wild somewhere, I wouldn't have all these accommodations to make it easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold that over where everything's inside there. I'm going to lay it down, and I'm just going to take a little hammer. You can use a rolling pin, just about anything. All we're going to do is crush this up. Like I said, you can use a chopper, a grinder, whatever you want to do if you're making this at home.
Bam. Pretty much ground up. And that'll do for what we're going to do. Alright, y'all. I'm going to get everything ready and we're going to filter this through here and see what happens, okay? Alright, y'all. I'm ready to try to make this chicory coffee. My wife's been kind enough to kind of work the camera for me. It's hard to really do this stuff and film myself, y'all. Um, say hi to everybody. Hi. Hey. How are everybody? <laughs> Alright, here we go, y'all. Um, like I said, I've already got the roots all crushed up. Everything kind of like a coffee grind. And like I say, y'all, I'm just using that. I told y'all don't laugh because it's pink polka dotted. But uh, ah. anyway, um, we're just going to kind of slowly try to filter this through there. And we'll see what happens, y'all. I don't know. And I'm hoping that when this stuff comes out, it's going to come out at the bottom kind of looking like coffee. this through there, I'm going to fold this napkin up and let this set down in the water for a minute and kind of soak some of this stuff in. I think it'll get a lot darker actually. And like I said y'all, this is a coffee substitute. It's not exactly like coffee. Um, you know, like I was telling you years ago, they would mix this stuff back in depression. They would mix it with their coffee to make their coffee last longer, just to make it go for it. Got a pretty color. Yeah, it's kind of a lighter brown, but I think it's going to darken up more. This this napkin is probably not the best filter to strain this through, but that's what we're going to use just because that's what's convenient. It's my fault. I used all the coffee filters. I do apologize. All right, you know, we're going to let that sit there and kind of soak for a minute. And we'll get right back to you. All right, y'all. As you can see, it's darkened up quite a bit. Some of my grinds kind of come through my paper, so what I'm going to do before I drink it, I'm going to strain it off into a coffee cup again. Just to make sure I get all of it. We don't want no grinds in our teeth this morning. And y'all, I, like I said, this first time I've made this, um, it might take more root to make it a darker color, but it, it's darker than what it was. I think it's going to be all right. All right, we're going to strain this off in here. And then we're going to try it. Like Sheila said, she used all my coffee filter. <laughs> That's what I used making the dandelion tea, and it worked great. So maybe it wasn't me. Huh? So maybe it wasn't me who used I all your coffee filters. I only used that one the last time. Sure you did. Alright, y'all. Here it goes. Just straight. See what happens. A good smell to it. y'all it tastes kind of like a, a little bitter tastes like a wheat coffee or kind of like a real strong tea but hey just for giggles I have a little sugar just a little spoon Hazelnut flavored creamer, that nutty flavor ought to mix right in with that chicory root. Not much, just a little. Hey y'all, this drink that we're making, coffee, tea, whatever you want to call it, chicory coffee, um, it's good for all kinds of stuff, y'all. It'll uh, help with digestive problems, um, prevent heartburn, almost like Prolitex, <laughs> uh, helps with arthritis pain. Detoxes your liver, it's good for your gallbladder, um, fights off bacterial infections, uh, what else? Boosts your immune system, um, it, re it actually reduces your risk of heart disease, um, protect against kidney stones. That's just like coffee, y'all. Not bad. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, like I said, um, we may do a video later doing some of the leaves like spinach, uh, but if you want to try to prepare the leaves 
like I said earlier, y'all, just make sure you know what the plan is. Make sure you can identify it. Because a lot of stuff out there can hurt you. I'm not an expert. Like I said, y'all, it's the first time I've ever done this. But I'm learning as I go, and I just want to share it with y'all. I just want to tell you I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe to our videos, and I'll see y'all next time.